Hello, my name is Michael Jamie Molly. <sighs> okay, terrible, 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 terrible. So, um, <clears throat> this movie's been out for a very long time, and I get that. I never got around to reviewing it is because I already knew that this movie was absolutely terrible. And I couldn't help myself and go, I'm not going to watch this. But there were people, local people, were asking me, just you know, you just you just got to watch this movie. You just got to if you if you review movies, you just you kind of got to see it. And I'm just like, I've already seen bad reviews, you know. I mean, I've seen so many terrible reviews that I feel like I don't even need to review this movie because people should already know that this is bad. And now it's at that stage where people are starting to watch it and go, it's actually not that bad. It's because when people watch this movie and know that it's terrible and they hear bad things about it, people are going to go see this with very, very, very low expectations. And then they're going to be like, it really wasn't that bad because you went in there with really low expectations knowing it was bad and you went in with the lowest expectations that you could ever imagine and when it comes to something like you walk in on the first day not knowing if it's bad or really good you go in with very high expectations you know you, you see good things in the trailers despite the fantastic four babies they're really young actors playing these characters and it's not like the way it is in the comics it's hard to kind of you know be concerned and worry but the trailers to be frankly honest i was really sold by the trailers i thought the trailers were amazing the trailers really worked i thought they were one of the best trailers i've seen, one of the best uh um trailers that i've seen from fox i just thought it was really good it 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 just it it did the right things you know and i was feeling it i was like this is actually gonna be good it's actually gonna be good and now I've, i'm like you know what it's a trailer this is the movie the trailer were good, the trailers were amazing, but the movie, oh my god, a completely different story. I mean, I have seen so many terrible reviews that I feel like I have to show one, just to, just to show you. I mean, this guy, I mean, oh my god, this guy is absolutely, you know, he's just crazy. incredibly uneventful that nothing really happens. If you've seen the trailer, you know the major beats of this movie. The Fantastic Four get their powers. Victor Von Doom's a bad guy. They have a little battle. There's nothing to spoil. Nothing happens. This movie is honestly just as bad as Batman and Robin or Superman 4 A Quest for Peace. But the difference is, a film like Batman and Robin is so campy. It does not take itself seriously. You can actually watch that movie and make fun of it and laugh at how bad it is. Fan Forstick is taking itself seriously. It is trying to be the Dark Knight of the Fantastic Four. And it sucks so incredibly hard that you just sit there bored out of your mind waiting for anything to happen. So the entire film is exposition. The relationships in the movie come off as forced and awkward. The comedic jokes don't even work. I barely laughed at all. I wanted to like this movie. I love almost every member of this cast. Miles Teller is very talented. Michael B. Jordan is awesome. Kate Mara and Jamie Bell are all very good actors. Tim Blake Nelson is in this movie. What the hell happened? Everything in this movie dropped the ball. Everything. I don't want to watch. I'd rather watch Batman and Robin again. I'm being completely serious. Everything about Fan Four Stick sucks. There isn't a single redeeming quality in this entire film. Even the performances that kind of work, because you can see these are talented people, they don't work because the things they're saying have virtually no interest. There isn't a single surprise in this entire film, and when even the CGI and costume design, and especially the look of Doctor Doom, who looks like a total, complete moron, everything fails, this movie fails. Guys, fan four stick gets an F. I am in utter shock at how bad this movie was. This is the first... Alright. Okay. People are like, you, you just put another guy's review into your review. Okay, I get it. This is not a review. This is a rant. Okay, I highly have to say that this guy right here, Chris Stockman, 
is absolutely right about everything he is saying, but I'm going to be a bit more nicer about it than he is, because he, he is just a, oh, he's awesome. But anyway, the, the thing that I, that I, if you watch the first 10 minutes of this movie, and you watch selections of the film, you'll be like, it's actually not that bad. Yeah, you watch the first 10 minutes of the movie, and you go, it, it actually isn't that bad. It's like, yeah, watch the rest of it, and see how you go. And the thing that I hate the most about this movie is that it never gets anywhere. The, 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 start, the, the bit at the start where it gets to the bit where it's getting to the moment of where they get to know each other, where they're starting to meet each other, where they're going to go into space, and where they get the powers, that was interesting. But once they got it, there was, no, there was nothing leading to anything. There was nothing. There was nothing. It was absolutely tensionless. There was nothing interesting. I was not invested in the movie. I was so bored, out of my mind, I could not even take anything with anything of any interest at all. Well, I can say that the actors were fine in their roles. I mean, I can say Miles Teller is a talented dude. Michael B. Jordan is talented. Jamie Bell and Kate Mara are talented. Every single actor in this movie that are supporting are oh, fantastic. Tim Blake Nelson. What happened? There was so much, so much high green of love that could have happened, and it didn't happen. I mean, you hear so many issues that went on set, so many problems that happened with the director and an actor named Miles Teller. Fox uh, changed things. Apparently, there was going to be action sequences that the director wanted, and they cut them out and said, we don't want them. And, you know, even the director, Josh Trank, said, you know, he posted on Twitter saying, this is not my movie. And he posted it, like, a day before it came out, or a day after. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, this is a real train wreck. This is not looking good. And I just think I would have loved to have seen what the, the, what the cut, his cut, Josh Trank's original cut would have been. And I think today, I'm not, we're never going to get it. But I'd love to see what the cut was with Josh Trank's version, seeing if it was better than what Fox decided to do with it. Because I think that it was just such a stinker that I can't really say much anything positive about it. Because if I say something positive about it, I will be lying to you. I will be lying to you guys. Because th there are so many good movies that are out now that we're in that era where superhero movies are fantastic, and it, we have yet to have seen a movie as in the level of bad of Batman and Robin and Superman for the quest for peace and Steel with Shaquille O'Neal and there's really no excuses anymore for a bad superhero movie because we've seen so many good movies now and there's really no excuse and I can't lie to you and say that this is not a movie worth watching you really I, w I wouldn't say that you don't have to watch it because there are going to be people that are going to watch it simply because they've heard so many bad things about it and that's the reason why people are watching it still, is because of the bad word of mouth, and people just want to see a shit movie. And in a way, I get why, because you're just interested in knowing how bad it is, and you're, you're interested in seeing an atrocity. But I just don't understand why you'd want to spend money on it, to be frankly honest, because it, it doesn't deserve your money, you know? And after watching this movie, I cannot give this a good score, because the score is just... It, it's a bad score, I mean... It's nothing like a 0.1 out of 10. It, the, the acting is pretty solid, but the story is tensionless. It goes nowhere. Uh, there is really nothing to spoil because everything in the trailers is shown in the movie. You know, every, every important point in the trailer happens in the movie anyway, so you're not going to be spoiled anyway. I mean, it's bad. I mean, I, I'm trying my best here not to swear, because I usually swear in my reviews, but all I can say is watch this on YouTube, and try not to watch this movie at the cinemas, you know, watch it, if you really want to watch it, uh, wait for it to come out on TV, and just watch it and see how bad it is, because this movie does not deserve your money, keep your money, save it for something special. I'm going to give this movie... A 1.9 out of 10. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. This is a really bad movie. And I'm not going to be like really mean about it. Because I generally think these actors in this movie are very talented. 
and they have a lot going for them and I know that Miles Teller and Michael B. Jordan are going to move on to better things and they can forget about this. Jamie Bell, go back to independent films. Kate Mara, go on to do other serious movies. You've got potential. Move on from this crap and forget about it. Okay. Bye.